Brisk Buddies, we are on the last tile in the administrative tasks section of our Brisk Bites series here, launching from the Brisk Tools page, which you can always find at bit.ly slash try brisk tools. So we've gone through the email writer, the newsletter generator, and the letter of recommendation generator. If you'd like to see those, see the other brisk bites in this series. But we're going to kick off here with observation notes. You might have to dash in. You may have five minutes, 10 minutes, 25 minutes. You're never quite sure how long you're going to have. Sometimes a teacher will invite you in last minute because something amazing is happening in their class and you want to pop in and capture that. This observation notes tool will come in very handy. You can pop in, you can launch a Google Doc, and you can select observation notes from the brisk extension here on the bottom right hand of your page. So we're going to go ahead and choose observation notes. And right here, I just get that text box where I can pop in some thoughts as I go and they can be very, very um, bullet point uh, types of notes. So I'm going to pretend that I've just popped in to an engineering challenge, a marshmallow bridge type of activity. And all I've really had time to do is just jot some quick things while I'm watching the kids um, build this amazing engineering uh, marshmallow bridge while, while they're in class. So I've just jotted some quick notes, but I'd really like to send this to the teacher and have it look a little bit nicer than this. So let's turn to our old friend Brisk and choose Brisket. It's going to take it away from there. It's going to build us something that looks a little bit more professional, a little bit more organized. It's taking my bullet points and putting them in a nice, orderly, uh, organized document here. I like it, but I don't love it. We haven't explored this too much. I know you've seen it before. Let's go ahead and choose that more detail button and see what that does for us in terms of rewriting these observation notes. I, of course, want to go back in and reread all of this and make sure that what it's generating is accurate and reflects what I saw. But I really like what I'm seeing here. It's taking my ideas and really just broadening them out so that they sound a little more formal and a little more meaningful uh, to the teacher that might be seeing them. So I love what I'm seeing there. That looks excellent to me. And you know what I might do here down at the bottom because I just didn't think about it while I was in the classroom? Um, I might ask it to provide a next step for my teacher here. So I'll go ahead and say brisk that and I'll let AI do its thing. Of course, once it generates, I might love the next step that it suggests. I might not. That's always up to you. But you can certainly pop into brisk and let it be your partner in that classroom observation process for you and your teachers. We hope you enjoyed this brisk bite and we'll see you again soon for another one right here.